Hey everybody, Mr. Agent here, and let us watch Death Battle Android 18 vs. Captain Marvel. I still don't really know what to do with this, but click in the description to see the official release. Please go watch the official release. Watch the official release. I cannot stress that enough to watch the official release. <sighs> Who do I think is going to win? Um, let's see. I think uh, Captain Marvel. I did see the, like the little post credit, well not, not like we see the post episode things, the little trailers I guess. And there was one thing that really caught my attention and that was Captain Marvel can absorb energy. From what I can remember about Dragon Ball Z, I haven't watched Super, is that Android 18 can't of do that. I believe Android 17 can do that in the future when he merged with his future self or a different self. Anyway, I am. I don't think um, Android 18 can do that. And um, with Captain Marvel being able to absorb energy, I think that'll be enough to just kill her. That's all I'm going to say. So um, that's all I got really. Of course, though, I, I, I do want to watch this. I mean, I'm a little excited about the fight, because the fight is animated by the same guy who made Ryu vs. Scorpion. I know there's another one that I'm forgetting, but um, um, I'll, I'll put the name right on the screen right here. Anyway, though, he's really good. Like, if it's anything like Ryu vs. Scorpion, I'm expecting a really good fight. Like, he makes amazing work. So, I really want to check this out. I'm excited to see this one. So, let us watch. What? Oh, I thought they were. I thought they were doing like a thing with their sloth th guy again. You know. Is there some sort of, like, reference for that game? Is there something I'm missing about this whole thing? Like, it's not... I saw the trailer, I didn't watch it though, but like, is this some sort of weird reference from Rooster Teeth that I'm not getting here? Like, sloths, pizza... It just seems like such a bunch of random stuff thrown together. I love a powerful woman. Even better, one that keeps getting stronger and stronger. And today we've got two of them. Android 8. Really? She is that cyborg killer from Dragon Ball. Okay. And that Captain Marvel, the hard-hitting, high-flying event. That's her connection to keep getting stronger as time goes on. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills um, to find out who hmm. would win a death battle. I don't know. All right, I know this one. Dragon Ball Z is such a good series. It was a fun series, I'll say at the very least. It too bad it leads to so much destruction. I mean, no, it doesn't lead to destruction. I'm just watching this. Sh uh, like I thought the words anyway. It causes so much. Oh my God, so much rage, and I just wish that just didn't happen. It sounds like it's gonna get complicated real fast. Oh, it is. To be brief, the Red Ribbon Army was the greatest military force ever known. Even greater than the Earth's entire armed forces combined. Until a tiny monkey child named Goku strolled through and wrecked their shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> <Founder laughs> uh, okay. ...against Goku for over 20 years. Like any mad scientist hellbent on revenge, the good doctor got back to doing what he did best. Creating life. And so he designed some of his deadliest creations today. Oh my god. Oh, wait, oh my god. Are they going to have the voice for, um, who's Android 18 in, from, uh, Dragon Ball Z Abridged? Really? Well, that's cool. I don't know. Maybe he wants to take all the credit. No, they weren't alive. They were, they were androids. <laughs> Android 18's real name is Lazuli, which sounds like some sort of Italian <laughs> pasta dish. Lazuli. She kept the name 18 after brutally murdering her maker. Well, no, 17 did that. Not 17 did that, not really 18, but oh no. Even with his own cyborg body, 
didn't stand a chance. With nothing not to even do, close. Quinn set off to ravage the world as predicted. But this time, something changed. After witnessing the compassion of the heroes, including a bald, vertically challenged martial artist named Krillin, 18 had a change of heart and joined the good guys. And then got her ass kicked. <laughs> nice. Give it up for Krillin. Not only is he punching above his bracket, but he's laying pipe above it as well. <laughs> what kind of expressions are these? I know Nick writes these things, but where does he come up with this stuff, eh? I mean, where do you come up with that shit? Laying the pipe. Come on, man. Incredible hand-to-hand combat skills and mechanically enhanced senses for superb situational awareness. And she's got the strength to back it up. You know, I'm just reminding me, like, of uh, fictional face-off. No, 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 we're not. Uh, Fatal Fiction, my bad. I don't know where I got face-off from. It reminds me of Fatal Fiction when they did that episode on um, Android 18 vs. Starfire. With her key, 18 can fire a barrage of energy beams powerful enough to destroy buildings, continents, possibly even planets. Like the really? finger beam. <laughs> Talk about getting finger blasted, am I right? No. <sighs> oh, you know you laugh. Absolutely no. not. I'm I know I'm smiling, but I'm yeah. I'm Android grimacing at it. I'm like eye rolling that. No. I know what you're thinking, Finkles? but it's not a magic gun with unlimited ammo. It's Why would a speed of energy blasts, which are nearly impossible to avoid. Her photon strike lays waste to a vast area in an instant. <laughs> She can even use her husband's signature technique, the Destructo Disc. It's a buzzsaw made of pure energy. Why don't more Dragon Ball characters use that thing? He is just as much a defensive tool as well. Android 18 can enhance her strength, speed, and endurance with her energy. Really? Surpassing the limitations of her physical body. Oh yeah, and she can fly. Oh right, look, everybody can basically fly at this point. It's not that impressive. Sort of battery within. This system grants her a continuous and potentially endless supply of key. She'll never get tuckered out. In fact, mm -hmm. one of her favorite combat strategies is wasting time to make her enemy exhausted, then moving in to finish him up. <sighs> she's making him burn up all his energy and then she's going to attack him. Wow. That's some good strategy, actually. It's even possible for 18 to steal her foe's energy for herself by absorbing it through her body. Increasing her power really? and nullifying her opponent. Oh, I didn't oh I didn't really know that. Always go the distance. Like Rocky Balboa. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean like I watched series, but that seems like such a like she got her ass kicked so many times that it, it kinda just like even while he's in Super Saiyan blue form. Also, she can kick hard enough to break Super Saiyan Vegeta's arm. What's yeah. so impressive about breaking an arm? You broke yours once just by falling out of your chair. Uh huh. <laughs> you might have missed the Super Saiyan part there. Vegeta's extremely high key levels improve his body to support an impressive amount of weight. Leading up to the fight, Vegeta was training in 450 mm -hmm. times gravity, making his weight about 55,000 pounds. That means the tibia in his leg would be supporting over 40,000 pounds, the equivalent of eight pickup trucks. Damn, I wish I had bones like that. So I she could kick up the. <laughs> <laughs> so the so she can kick up that many trucks or something like that. Super Saiyan. We've previously established that an ascended Super Saiyan can fly approximately 340,000 miles per hour, so it's reasonable to believe 18 can do the same. Man, this piece stuff is seriously. Why isn't she as good in the series anymore? She's like everybody else that just gets their ass kicked at some point. <laughs> Sure. Anyway, just like Vegeta, Android 18's key allows her to survive serious blows. She's even tanked the full brunt of a Super Saiyan key blast, capable of obliterating an entire building without a scratch. Well, and scratch is, is but not really much. Jacket. Oh, Man, poor jacket. Awesome. awesome? Yes. Unstoppable? Not at all. Android 18 is unfortunately susceptible to a number of weaknesses, including her own programming. Fear what? Her unruliness, Jiro designed her with a remote shutdown system in place, one that both he okay. and Krillin's friend Bulma were able to exploit. Wow, so this little thing will stop them, huh? On top of that, 18 has a reputation of being cold and apathetic. 
Although this is mostly just a guise, as she's always ready to defend her <laughs> friends and family from Well, I mean, she doesn't have the bombs anymore, right? Didn't Krillin wish them away? To kill for an interdimensional tournament bent on saving the universe from annihilation. It's safe to say that oh. Super Saiyans are not the only blondes protecting the planet. Believe me, when she gets that look in her eye, you better hold on to your Dragon Balls. I know I'm being hard on you, but it's the only Well, like, she doesn't have the bombs anymore, right? I think I at least remember Krillin wishing them away, right? Or was that not possible? In her career, but when she was born, she was All right. Carol Danvers. You know, maybe this maybe I have to actually switch my pick after this. She quickly flew to the top of their ranks before moving on to the Air Force Intelligence. Real. Damn, I can't, I can't I don't know if I'm rolling my eyes. I have to look back in this footage if I did or not. Working at NASA was pretty cool until aliens attacked. <laughs> aliens between the Cree aliens and a Cree superhero named Marvel. Cree. Known to the world Green might as well be Marvel. Might as well be green aliens versus purple aliens. Secret identity is Marvel. Somebody forgot to read superheroes for dummies. Anyway, during the battle, Carol got I mean, that's not as bad as other names, right? Neutron, which exploded. Luckily for her, this is one of those explosions that turns you into a superhero. The energy I wish I had that explosion. Just boom. Marvels. She developed an Marvels. extra free brain lobe and gained most of Marvel's powers, transforming her into a new dynamic superheroine. Except she didn't even realize it at first. She'd just mm. black out at random times and wake up to hear about a new suspiciously blonde superhero. Hey, Wiz. Maybe I have a superhero side like this. I, mean, <laughs> I black out all the time. Boomstick, you don't have powers. You have a problem. <laughs> yes. Her yes, you do. Several phases of superhero titles. First Miss Marvel, Marvel, then Binary, then Bin Warbird, then Miss Marvel again, until one day, Marvel died. Here's to you, Marvel. To honor her fallen friend, Carol Danvers took up his mantle, becoming the brand new Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Captain Marvel. I just want to say it at the same time as Wiz. With superhuman strength and incredible durability. Are they not going to bring up the whole, um... Are they not going to talk about the Shazam thing with other Captain Marvel, no lawsuit thing? Speaking of which, through her time with the Air Force and as a member of the Avengers, she's received years of quality combat training. Not only can she hit hard, she can fire powerful concussive blasts of photon and stellar light energy from her hands, as well as create energy fields. As if all that weren't enough, Carol can open up an extra can of whoop ass by absorbing energy. Okay. Absorbing anything from electricity to magic can make her even stronger. With these powers, Captain Marvel has done some pretty amazing things. While training with the Avengers, the combat simulation measured that she could deliver a force of 92 tons. Almost 10 times the destructive power of a Davy Crockett nuclear missile. Whoa. She can survive energy blasts to the face and even the vacuum of space for a long period of time. Once she flew from Broadway to the end of the atmosphere in only a minute and 50 Bro. seconds. Why is such a random place like Broadway? Sky to cover in less than two minutes. She claims that's her personal record. Now, considering the distance between a New York City street and the exosphere, Marvel must have been flying 247 times. Ooh, that's a little slower. A little slower. Out characters like Vision punched Iron Man out of his armor and even survived two point blank blasts from the destructor's beam, which has the enough power to punch holes through an Imperial Kree starship. And that's not even the height of her power. If Marvel absorbs enough energy, she can access the powers of binary, a form she took after losing her powers, getting lost in space, and being experimented on by aliens. Long story. Like everybody else. <laughs> she can tap into the power of a white hole and generate star levels of energy. And her hair's on fire. Were you even listening? It's like the least interesting thing about it. I don't know, man. Hair's on fire would be awesome. Binary was an extremely powerful form, capable of wiping out entire fleets of enemy ships, mm -hmm. but one that Captain Marvel does not have easy access to. She initially lost the form after expending all of its energy, and is unable to reach it again without absorbing a massive amount of interstellar energy, mm -hmm. such as the infinite energy from a gravitational field of a black hole singularity. 
She's too stubborn to just give up, though. She's <laughs> stubborn to a fault. She's headlong into situations while ignoring advice from wiser, more experienced friends. Like the time she started a civil war. Yes, I knew they were going to bring that one up. I was excited. I don't know why. Oh, really? Her, too? Well, I mean, not like her, too, as in, like, I'm as well. No, like, her, too, like, Tony Stark. <laughs> That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Does she ever? F <laughs> I wonder if she ever fought drunk. That would be is interesting seeing Captain Marvel fight drunk. She's such a pillar. She's named after the publishing company itself. What the hell? Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a tough. All right, you're gonna do your um. Knew it. All right, this is actually might be tougher than I thought. I mean, they, there's no exploitable weaknesses. I mean, technically, Android 18 probably is more vulnerable to all this. I mean, she's fought in robots. Be I mean, Ms. Captain Marvel's fought robots before, so I guess. But 18 could 18 could wear her out to the point to the point where she could take advantage of this. Plus she is plus Captain Marvel is slower. But then that power increase. But um, it's tough. It's incredibly tough. It's like it could go either way in my opinion. I don't quite know this myself. Let's see. I, if I could flip a coin, I would. Um. Mm, look, I've cooked before. I know how satisfying it is. It is satisfying. I'm sticking with my pick. I'm sticking with my pick. Aw, oh, poor squirrel. This is 18. Oh, yeah, it is. Already loving this. The good enemy. Get back. This orb is coming with me. Give me a break, lady. I've been looking for that thing all day. Don't make me hurt you. Yeah, good luck with that. That was... I don't know, it's not really the best. Not exactly one of my favorite ways to start a fight, like... Just not even not a conversation, just fight. <laughs> ah, his good animation as usual. That... I knew she was faster. <laughs> this is awesome. Come on, who? Oh, come on. It's a fight. Who? There's no such thing as wrong. There's nothing wrong with playing dirty. Oh. Oh boy. What do you do? <laughs> yeah. So, I feel like these are these have to be custom sprites. Um, I don't really like these sprites. Oh, come on! Use that again! I don't like these sprites. Okay, thank you. She took it, didn't she? Ah, oh, boy. I'm not liking where this is going. I feel like I'm gonna lose again. Oh. oh. What the? No fair. I can. Uh. 
Uh, oh shit! And that's that. Holy shit! I'm wrong again. Now that's a crushing blow. Captain Marvel may have been one of the Avengers' mightiest warriors, but she couldn't stand up to the impressive power, speed, and expertise of Android 18. First up, knew she was faster. Lie. When it comes to speed, Carol's best record put her in just under 200,000 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. But 18 could move. Over knew it! I knew she was faster. faster. Most apparent of all, Marvel's durability and strength feat simply pale in comparison to 18. The only way Marvel's power could match 18's was to absorb enough energy to reach her binary. Okay, yes. But 18 is no stranger to that technique. There's no doubt she recognized what Carol was doing and stopped feeding her energy. Even if Carol had somehow achieved the full force of binary, that wouldn't have guaranteed a win. I mean, the last time we saw binary in the comics, she was taken down by some alien guns. Yes, she's really good at absorbing energy as she uh. with superior speed, strength, tactics, and endurance. Android 18 simply wore Captain Marvel down until it was time to go in for the kill. And that's why Captain Marvel lost by T K O. God, that one was awful. Yeah, the winner is Android 18. <laughs> is, he is he running out of puns now, eh? Hey, don't go away. We're about to reveal the matchup for the next episode of Death Battle. And if you want cool. some commentary on this episode, click that little button over there and start a first membership trial. Helps us out a lot. Alright. So, Metal Sonic. Zero! Oh, this is gonna be cool! I wanted to see a. Oh. Hey, everybody, that was the Death Battle. I'm wrong again. Add that to the little thing I think I recently added recently. Anyway, I, yeah, yeah, I, I did not think they were, I didn't actually, I didn't actually think, um, with, okay, I want to say right off the bat, I didn't really think, like, um, they were going to make an intel, like, be intelligent, like, the idea of saying that, oh, 18 knew this was going to happen, so she obviously stopped doing it. I guess I didn't really use much common sense right there. I kind of just thought, oh, hey, they knew they could do this, bam, bam, and they'll keep doing it. I just... Mm, need to use more of my common sense right there. And overall, I'm not surprised. I didn't like the her sp sprites when she turned form. I liked her old ones, but then she had that weird cartoony face. But you know, that's all right. It was all right. But I didn't like when she. I didn't like when she changed form. I don't know. I just. I feel like. I feel like the actual like the real fire looking effects. The it just didn't. Eh, it was just ugly looking in my opinion. Fight itself, it was good. Uh, trust me, the guy who animates this, again, presented right here, he's good. He's amazing. Like, seriously, check him out if you, ha if you haven't. So, yeah. I do like the fight. And, yeah, and 18 won. In some way, I think it's thankful that she won because if she lost, my god, you would see so many more videos about how... Bam! She should have lost. And that, like, if she, if Andrew, if 18 lost, you would see so many comments saying, "Oh my God, no!" <laughs> like, like it happens when Majin Buu and Kirby came out. It happened when Goku vs Superman came out. If this happened again, my God, we'll be getting so much more. And I think they're starting to run out of Sonic characters now. I mean, let's see. And I mean, let's see. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Shadow. And now Metal Sonic, they've used Eggman too, like, what's left at this point? What, what, what is left at this point? Cro like, I don't know what's really left at this point for them for using Sonic characters. I feel like this might be the last bit. I mean, the only thing, the only guy they have left is Silver. And I don't know how much further this can go. So, um, yeah. And they're they're using zero. That's awesome. I can't wait to see this. But then again, but wait, didn't they use that metal sign before? I don't know. Anyway, um, it's gonna be cool. Anyway, everybody, hit that like and subscribe button just because you like me.